Hello there my lovely people, welcome to Sipping Tea in Zansi. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to ring the notification bell so that every time when I post a video you will be notified. So today we are talking about Spice and Erica Min. These two ladies went on an argument, a disgusting altercation, fight, whatever you want to call it. So apparently Shikana organized a brunch slash lunch, whatever you want to call it, where these ladies went to down hell because they were fighting because Erica man feels like Spice is talking about her or Spice is not being a friend or she keeps talking about her but it all started when there were rumors that Spice died you know like she passed away during her surgery in the Dominican Republic so of course Safari is a good friend of Spice so Safari was quite devastated and he cried over that rumor but then, you know, the evil Erica said, why are you so bothered? Why are you so bothered so much? Why does this bother you so much? Um, That's where bad blood started between these two. Now we all know Spice is very uh, combative. She's very confrontational. She's very opinionated. She was, so she just would not sit down and let Erica men drag her the way that she did. So it started quite well. They were just sitting, they were talking and it went on i also feel like erica men is very disrespectful and on this is speaking her dragging ice spice and saying that she looks like a blue monkey is nothing but disrespectful and honestly speaking i am so glad that spice took it all the way to hell okay all the way to hell and she dragged her ass she even told her your son doesn't like you and this is why erica left you and we are so happy that safari is with a black woman now you realize that not only did erica manna um say the most vilest things out of her mouth she also proceeded to assault spice because she's the one who turned the table over that is a fight okay actually spice could even sue her because now how dare you you're drawing tables at me now for me telling you the truth that just because you think you're light skin and everything is okay, that's another thing about these women who are light skin. They will always think that they are better than everybody else. That her being lighter in complexion makes her the god of women. Like all men want me. Like if you were good enough or your light skin was playing a good role in your life, then why all these men are leaving you? Why did Safari file for divorce and why Safari moved on with a woman who is just as dark and just as chocolatey and beautiful as Spice, as Spice mentioned? That ha, now we know why Safari left you and we know why Safari moved on with a darker woman. Mm? Because not only was she throwing shots, Spice was like, I'm going to do jabs because I'm not just going to sit here and I'll let you drag me to the streets just because i am telling you that stop talking about safari and acting like you're the first woman to get divorced you're the first woman to take care of kids and be left with children we all have to deal with this at some point and then they started putting their kids in the mix spice said um your child doesn't like you you heard the clip i don't have to repeat i did put a few clips here that you definitely heard I'm just going to say that this is very disgusting that two black women need to sit down and fight and just to just for clouds and they hate each other just for views. All these things are done in public. They have kids that they are raising as they said. The other one has a 16 year old. The other one has a 14 year old and above. Like why would these grown up women who are raising children sit here and be at each other's throats? Like I will never understand these shows and the type of message that these shows are actually portraying or putting across to its viewers. It's very disgusting. It's also making black women look stupid. Number one makes looks like we are loud and we cannot be civil and we are always problematic now to me it is a shame that we have to sit here and do such things because huh, i'm telling you child this is just a disaster on its own not only because safari is out there enjoying his life with his new boo and these two are fighting 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 hmm it's not acceptable. At some point, we need to sit down as women and realize that these men that we keep fighting for, they are not even worth it. They are not even worth it. 
nobody can tell me otherwise. Because tell me why are they going at each other's looks? Tell me why. And this is the reason why Erica Mena cannot even be in a successful relationship because she's just as mean as a snake. Like, lady, miss ma'am, why are you so angry? Because this entire fight started because Safari showed that he cares about his friend Spice. And these people are from Jamaica. They're from the islands. Another thing about people from the islands, they understand each other more. Huh? Or people who just come from the same country, they will always understand each other better than you. Honestly speaking, I just don't understand why women be doing this. I mean, I understand there's money involved, but I don't understand why Spice is even in this show. Because Spice is just as three times or five times richer than all of those people. She's a an amazing artist and she keeps recording uh, top charts hit music. She does not deserve to be dragged and be called a monkey on national TV just because she's standing up for herself. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that she also threw jabs at Erica because how dare she? She always thinks like she, she she's better than everybody else. And yeah, Spice said your child don't like you. I mean, that was the low of the low. But hey, they were fighting. And there's blame to be put on both of these women. Both of them. Anyways... Please tell me what are your thoughts down below. And of course, as usual, I bring the tea. It's hot. It's piping hot. And just ring the notification bell so that you will get a notification. Because if you don't, I will be lost forever. And you will never hear from me. And that will be a shame. Anyways, I love you all. Bye.